Hey guys, I am on to my first meal for today. It is lunchtime, uh, so it's about 12.30, around there. Um, so first meal at 12.30, uh, I definitely skipped breakfast and kind of pushed my meals so that they were a little closer together and later in the day. Um, let's see, so far I haven't done a workout. I kind of slept in a little, but not too much. Uh, and I'm going to be working out after work today. Um, again. Um, so basically I kind of wanted more of a filling meal. So I am having six eggs, one whole egg, five egg whites, uh, 52 grams of turkey, and about three to four grams of some mozzarella cheese. Nothing special with the mozzarella cheese, just it's finely shredded. Um, and then actually Early, later today, I, I made for myself uh, the plan to have two ground beef patties, but I decided since this was a smaller meal and I am kind of hungry right now, I was gonna have one of the burger patties. Um, I just feel like that goes really well with eggs. So I decided to have three ounces of that now, and it is an 88-12 ground beef. Uh, so 88% lean, 12% 12, 12 fat. Um, anyways, so I'm having this and it is coming in pretty hefty in the calorie space. So in total, it is 414 calories, 60 grams of protein, one gram of carbs, and 16 grams of fat. So a lot of protein, a good bit of fat, and no carbs really. Hey guys, just got done with work. Uh, we are actually about to go and do a little bit of grocery shopping. Uh, we're gonna go to Costco and Publix. So before I go and do that, I wanted to have some kind of snack so I'm not real hungry, uh, so I don't over shop and buy unnecessary things because I do that. Um, so I'm having one of Nature's protein bars. I am having three ounces of ground beef. It is the 8812 ground beef. Um, and the macros on this are, it's 158 calories, 16 and a half grams of protein, and 10 and a half grams of fat, and no carbs. So we'll see how this lasts me. We'll see if this kind of fills me up somewhat. I feel like it's gonna do a good job at kind of holding me over until I have dinner, uh, which it really only needs to last me maybe like two hours um, at most. Uh, so, I don't know if I'm alone in this, but I can eat ground beef like this, just like that. I don't need anything on it or with it. Um, I guess I season it well enough that it tastes good enough. Um, honestly, sometimes that's the one thing I like about having prepared ground beef in my house. It's that I can eat it like that. I can make it into tacos, I can make it into burgers. Um, it's very versatile and really good with fat and, and not as good with protein, but you get both in there, so that's a good thing. Um, anyways, uh, you guys will see what I get from Costco and Publix. Hey guys, just got back from Costco and Publix doing all my grocery shopping. Uh, this is my first time actually grocery shopping while being on a keto diet. So I'm gonna take you guys through everything that I bought and kind of the reasons why I bought it. So first, we're just gonna start out with staples. We have chicken breasts. Um, I think I got eight pounds of chicken, which actually at Costco, that is the smallest quantity you can get. Uh, got that just because everybody needs a lean source of protein. Um, I know keto, it's more going for fats, but I also like some lean sources, that way I can eat more food. Uh, then I got some 8812 ground beef. Uh, I got 5.9 pounds of it. Um, I've loved having this lately. Uh, there's a good amount of protein and fat, a great ratio, especially for a keto diet. Um, even off of keto, I definitely tried to fit that into my calories. Um, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Next, I got a bird. So I love Costco's rotisserie chickens. Uh, they are massive, only $4.99. Uh, and this is honestly going to be my dinner. Um, perfect whenever you don't feel like cooking, 
great source of protein and a good amount of fat. Next, I got some eggs. Uh, I just love eggs, and I've been incorporating more whole eggs. Um, overall, this is not something I'm really getting uh, just for keto, but over just for my overall diet. Um, Anything that I got specifically for keto, I will show you that. Most of the stuff I've shown so far though is just what I would normally get. Um, this keto bread, uh, this is a mixture of both. One, uh, I've been getting this from before just because it is the lowest calories, which there's a lot of crossover between keto and just calorie counting for me. So a lot of times they tend to be the lowest calorie options. Um, so I went with this, perfect for keto. Um, and honestly, I just love bread, making sandwiches, burgers, anything like that. Um, skip into the jelly. So I actually got these, they're buy one, get one free. It's the reduced sugar jelly. Um, for one tablespoon, it's only 20 calories. So one of my favorite uh, snacks, which now that I'm on keto, uh, there's fewer snack options, but one of the bigger ones that I'm gonna go to is just toast with some jelly. Uh, honestly, I think that's going to be a perfect combination uh, and it's going to be super filling uh, and that's what's important. Next, I got, I got some of those Thomas Bagel Thins. Uh, I really like Bagel Thins, uh, but these are keto ones and they are only 80 calories. I've had them before, uh, mainly just because, again, they're low in calorie, but I don't really think they taste the best. Um, I actually thought these were buy one get one free. It turns out they weren't. So kind of upset about that. These do tend to be a little more expensive. I think it was like $7 per thing. So I have a lot of bagels to go through. Um, one of my things that I like to put on them are some uh, whipped cream cheese. I feel like the whipped cream cheese spreads, uh, goes a little bit further for the calories. Uh, so I'll be sure to put that on these, make them taste a little better. Um, then I ended up getting some tortillas. Um, not a lot to say about these. I think keto or not, I would always get these just because one, lowest in calorie. These are 60 calories per tortilla. Uh, they're a good size. In total, it's five grams of net carbs. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I could have four or five of these. Uh, just some tacos I can eat. Um, let's see. Then I went and got some yogurt. Uh, these are actually kind of new to me. The, the size actually, they look a normal size. Uh, I can't get them out. But what shocked me is these are only 50 calories and they're about the, norm, the same size as any yogurts that I've had before. Uh, and it's cookies and cream. I love cookies and cream. I got a second one and it's apple. Same thing, uh, 50 calories. So for them, they have zero grams of fat, uh, five grams of carbs, but they have one gram of fiber, so four grams of active carbs, and 11 grams of fat. I've had some of the, uh, like the protein yogurts that are not even doing as good with the macros, which is really surprising. Uh, so I'm excited to try these, actually. Um, let's see, then I got some tomatoes. Just love tomatoes, like to throw it into uh, sandwiches, or maybe if I had a salad, um, which brings me to the, my lettuce. Uh, I love shredded lettuce, love putting those on sandwiches, burgers, anything I can. I know that there's probably some carbs in tomato, but who cares about one carb here or there. Um, all right, next is my newer, uh, today I went and kind of like looked around for new keto things, because I'm it's new to me, right? So I'm finding new snacks. Um, and so one of the newer ones that I have not been having is cashews. Um, super surprised at one, the price, because I always thought these were super expensive. This whole thing was maybe $12. Um, so I looked at all the macros on all of the different nuts that they had, which one I didn't see was peanuts. Uh, but cashews actually had the lowest calories per one ounce, which I was surprised to find, uh, even lower than almonds. So for one serving, uh, which is one ounce, it's 160 calories, 13 grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, uh, and five grams of protein. So these are honestly just little, little things of fat. <laughs> kind of surprised at how much fat was in them. Um, all right, then I got some beef jerky. Uh, 
just a great overall snack, great for just really protein. Um, it's actually fairly lean. Oh, there's actually a good amount of, hmm, something I should have looked at. There's actually five grams of carbs on this, uh, nine grams of protein. Uh, I guess they put a lot of sugar in it. Should have, should have noticed, but I'm not gonna have that much anyway. Um, whenever I do eat it, so that's fine. Um, then something new, uh, I figured I'd try this. It's a keto cereal uh, for a half cup, which is 36 grams. It's only 110 calories, which that's actually fairly low um, for cereal, calorie wise. Uh, so it has 11 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, but then it has nine grams of fiber. So only five grams of net carbs and five grams of fat. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna eat this when I say that. Uh, it's either gonna be with a skim milk or I might even uh, take a protein shake and just pour it over it. I could see both being good options. Um, so this is all the foods I got. Um, I wanna say hopefully we'll see. I think all this stuff is perfect for keto. Uh, again, I'm kinda new to this, so you'll probably see some things change as we go on. But as of right now, I think this is an excellent start. Um, and all of this wasn't too expensive. Uh, I want to say maybe $140. And I mean, I wouldn't have gotten like this and that that's just like, I thought I was buying one going free. So things like that, that would really knock down the cost. Um, but overall, plus I got some for my wife as well. So um, overall though, not too expensive. Um, Super happy with some of my new options. Excited to try some of these. Um, honestly, keto or not, I would probably incorporate a lot of these things in my diet anyway, um, which I, I think that's one of the beauties of keto with me uh, is that most of the stuff is stuff that I've already been eating. It's just now I'm kind of searching for a little more in the keto section. Uh, and yeah, I'm kind of excited to, you know, see what else they have out there. Um, but that's it. I'm going to make dinner and then see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I haven't even put my groceries away, but I was kind of hungry. So I decided to go with one of the yogurts. It is 50 calories, zero grams of fat, four grams of active carbs, and 11 grams of protein. Uh, it's very liquidy. But overall, it smells good. Hopefully it tastes just as good. Um, if you're wondering how that came out so smooth, that's because I just recorded, but forgot to hit record. <laughs> Finally, on to my dinner. Uh, I'm actually having 17 and a half ounces of rotisserie chicken, uh, and then two servings of some of my sweet baby Ray's no sugar added barbecue sauce. Um, love this stuff. It is only 15 calories for two tablespoons. Uh, definitely give this a try. It's one of the lowest calorie sauces out there, barbecue sauces. Um, so in total calories for this, it is 847 calories, 113 grams of protein. We have 20 grams of carbs and 41 grams of fat. I am looking forward to just devouring this. Um, I would say this isn't even just a keto diet thing. Like me personally, I've, I've even had cheat meals where it's literally just rotisserie chicken. Just ended up making a snack, my final thing that I'm eating today. I'm having a bagel thin, one of the keto bagel thins, and I put on it some whipped cream cheese. For this, it is 130 calories, 10 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fiber, so four net carbs, and seven grams of fat. 